was a dumb bastard and <laughs> stupid. Always doing his <laughs> Fortnite gritty. Ugh. Jeez. Gritty. Of course, he's got his little paparazzi with him. Lakitu just hiding behind him the whole time. That is a cool gimmick. All behind him the whole time. He's got to have a little paparazzi. Can't go anywhere without his little entourage there. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm a human too. <laughs> Welcome Boy. back to Mario 64. Mario 64. It's the 64th edition. We've made it through 63 Mario games. We have finally made it to the 64th <laughs> Mario game. It's crazy. Yeah, it's true. It was a long ride. It was a long ride. That there, was, was, there was one, and there was two, and then two hours. There was 62, and then there was 63. <laughs> yeah. And now we're on the 64th one. <laughs> you know, 56 was my favorite of the Mario games. Was it? 57 was kind of a drag. I mean, like, it always seems to work out that way that the uh the iteration that you like the best the one after is always a stinker and so. they gave mario a gun at some point which is crazy pretty crazy it's an interesting twist yeah yeah huh. never would have thought it um he yeah. actually killed Bowser in that one that was, that was pretty interesting <laughs> and he came back weirdly yeah, enough weirdly enough you just jumped into a wall i jumped into a wall this is snowman's land get it how how does jumping into a blank wall make sense for snowman's land because it's no man's land. All right. Well, all right. You're not allowed in no man's land. Is that, I was about to say, is that, are we already done? Oh, it's a, like a little. Uh, yeah, it's a little puzzle. little puzzle thing. They really like those kinds of 3D puzzles in the Mario, because they do that a lot in Galaxy 2, where it's like, oh, the star's right there. Hot. Psych. You have to do this elaborate 3D puzzle thing and work your way through it to get it. Yeah, it's one of those things. I mean, they're experimenting with ideas they couldn't do in the previous eras of Mario. It's not like I'm criticizing him. Like, Why are you criticizing Mario? Well, because he's fat. <laughs> you know, that's fair. He could he could stand to, you know, lose a few pounds and maybe uh, stay away from the old Stromboli. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, the uh, the old Gabagool. The, the old uh, Gabagool? The, uh, the uh, Monster Chole. The, uh, the old uh, Fettuccine Alfredo. That's uh, that's Mama Mario special. Well, I'm just saying Mama Mario could maybe throw in a salad every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of your boy. You're teaching him bad eating habits. Jeez. <laughs> but, oh, that's I know what to 30 do. 30 minutes and... Jeez. I know what to do. See, I figured it out. I did it. I got the star. It's the 95th star, too. It's, it's, the, it's the most important one. Is it? I think so. I don't think the 95th is the most important. It is. I don't know about that. It was the 94th star. I was wrong. We had 93. <sighs> well, all right. So that one definitively wasn't important anyway. So, But this next one's important, though. Why? This is the one that's going to make or break us. Oh. Like, if we don't get the 95th star, we might as well stop playing. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the thing. So, in other words, Miyamoto crashes down through the roof and immediately takes away my Switch. <laughs> he has a Tommy gun and starts <laughs> blowing holes in the N64. Jeez. <sighs> He's like, you made me do this. Please, sir. Not my 64. It's the Pokemon edition one. I don't care. <laughs> Death to Pikachu. It's like fuck I, Pikachu. Whoa. Damn, I didn't make Pikachu. Fuck that you. is true. He did not make. Why, Pikachu. why do I give a shit? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think Miyamoto thinks of Pokemon? Do you think he hates it? No, I think he likes it. Yeah, I think he likes it because because of you know I think we've mentioned this before, but he's kind of more of a hippie kind of spiritual kind of dude. He is. Um. So, which kind of makes me think that Pokemon would be right up his alley because a lot of Pokemon are based off of... Fuck. Damn, you just got blown away and your hat's gone. Um, and a lot of Pokemon is, like, you know, based off of Shintoism and a lot of a lot of that kind of stuff. Which, I mean, like, a lot of Japanese games have a lot of Shintoism in it because yeah. yokai and spirits and all that kind of stuff and, like... You know, mythical creatures and this, that, and the other. So I, I could see, I could see where like some of it might get a little weird for him. It's like, why, why is there a pair of keys as a Pokemon? I just know he hates repetition. That's fair. 
Well, I think they... Uh, like, he's famous for saying with the Paper Mario team of, like, hey, we got to change this up. It can't be the same turn-based thing. Fair. Which is too bad, because I think... He's wrong. <laughs> yeah. At least for Paper Mario, specifically. Yeah. But, it, you know, Mario is his baby, and he prefers to have a new, new kind of Mario experience each time, so... Yeah. That makes sense. It's just, uh... But, you know, when you're, uh... When the next time you come out with Paper Mario and you have to fight a box of crayons, like, it's kind of like, I don't know if this is really... What are we doing? <laughs> so, not saying that the, the... I think the Origami King was pretty unique. I actually, I like that one. Yeah, it was pretty fun, but, you know, like I said, having to fight a box of colored pencils and a stapler, I don't know if that's... <laughs> it's not nearly as impressive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as what they could have done, or what they have done in the past, I guess. Yeah, exactly. So, oh, you gotta... Stay behind the uh, yeah the the penguin. Oh, 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 oh! oh. oh. Okay, yeah, 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 we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. I would have laughed really hard if it still blew you off. <laughs> it probably would have. <gasps> a little piece of me just died there. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. My heart skipped a beat. <laughs> oh boy, man, you're gonna be sad when we're done with Mario. No. No? What's wrong with Mario? There's nothing wrong with Mario. I mean, Mario, Mario 64, it's always a fun time. It's just like, there's other 3D Marios that I I like more than this one, if I'm being honest. Wow. I'm just being honest. Wow. Like, I I definitely think Mario Galaxy is a, just a better 3D Mario in general. I probably agree with that. Um, I think it's it's innovative. It's unique. I think it's it's got a lot going for it that... I, it, at least in terms of other Mario experiences, I haven't, uh, I haven't gotten like, like even, even no. I feel like Mario, Mario Odyssey, which has like a lot of really cool ideas and a lot of unique things happening for it. Like, you know, you can be a dinosaur in it and stuff. You can be a dinosaur. Um, but like there's, I still feel like there's a lot of reused, uh, things from prior Marios that they do in that. So, that's just me, though. My f problem I have with Mario Odyssey is I thought it was too easy. You think so? Yeah. Do you think, do you think, do you think it's too easy just because it's like everywhere you looked, there was a you know, a star to pick up or a moon? Yeah. Like, the, the number of, like, moons you need to get I don't think is enough because you right. can literally leave some of those planets by just doing the bare minimum. Yeah, that's true. And it makes it, it makes it boring. Yeah. There, I, I feel like if they would have took the number of moons and like cut it in half Yeah, and just focused on like, you can still have a couple of sprinkled out, but just make right. them more interesting that that would have been a better experience. Which there are like some of the more hidden moons and stuff that you find. Like there, I, there was the one um, in New Donk city where I forget how you get to it or whatever, but the dinosaur is down there, and there's like this big alleyway. It's kind of like, oh, yeah. kind of feels like Jurassic Park almost. Yeah, I know that one. Um, like that one, <laughs> that one's really cool. And like, you know, there's a lot of cool ones that you can just find around and stuff. But like, there is a lot of ones where it's just like, I oh, follow I, the dog. I literally shit my pants and I found one. Like, I <laughs> yeah. just, you know. <laughs> So I would agree. It's a little too abundant with the uh, with the moons in that game. When you get to the dark side of the moon or, or the moon like that, yeah. that 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 portion's all right. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Yeah, it's pretty unique. Um, Do I need to? Oh, I, mean, I think I think I know what this is. Yeah, I, we already knew that. Jeez, we weren't paying attention. Fucking God! Of course he wasn't paying attention. Oh, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't. He well, you got to bop on him. I did bop on him. You didn't, He though. did the boing. No, he didn't do the boing. He did boing. He said he, boing. He did not boing. He did not. See, he, he said did. boing. It's the same boing. We got to jump on it. You can't go out of the water and jump on it. That's dumb. Why can't I have my cake and eat it, too? Because you haven't eaten your veggies. I don't want my veggies, though. You, what you good has veggies brought me? If you don't eat your veggies... You're going to go blind. Is, wow, that's how that works. Wow, what a way to get your kids to eat vegetables. <laughs> Scare tactics. <laughs> that would be my way. <laughs> if you don't eat your carrots, your mom will die. <laughs> if you don't eat your carrots, <laughs> there's 
<laughs> An entire building shatters. <laughs> Your dog won't love you anymore. <laughs> So if you don't, I'm sorry. If you don't eat your green beans today, <laughs> guess what? Chuck E. Cheese just exploded. <laughs> he takes like a like a piece of C4 and he puts it on the Chuck E. Cheese's back and says, "If you don't eat your green beans, the mouse gets it." <laughs> oh man! I don't know how I can. You need this. You need a shell. I'm pretty sure there's a there's a Koopa around here. You just gotta steal a shell. He's in the block. He's not in the block. Oh, there's a second block. You got a one man. I don't want the one man. What do you mean you don't want a one man? I want two man. Wow. Those are your, that's your taste. <laughs> just, just give me just give me two man. Just why, give me two why man. Why does it always got to be one? Because we can't be greedy. I want to be greedy, though. What's wrong with that? God, we got to share the men. We must share the men. I don't want to share the men. <laughs> I know, I know. It's uh -oh. my men, and I want them now. Oh, that's a rough one. God damn. God the... damn, I can't see. Hey. Yeah. Oh. Where's, uh, where's the other one? Was that one seven? Yeah, it was seven. Uh, was there a... Th oh, there you go. Oh, okay. It was as easy as that. It's right yeah, there. Yeah, it's right there. Now, can he get there? Now, that's the real, real test. Like, watch this move. Like, damn. Oh, 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 Damn. oh, 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 man. Oh. I don't know if he's going to get it. I oh, no. I, I don't. Oh, God. I, this, uh, is so this, this is so fucking hard. This oh, is, my God. This is kind of embarrassing. Oh. Honestly. I'm really sorry you have to witness this. <laughs> oh. Hey. Wow. That's nice. the hardest star of the game. Thank you. Thank you. I was sweating bullets. Yeah, I bet you were. I bet you were. I don't make them like they used to. <laughs> Um, oh, back in my day. Back in my day. They didn't give you just free one-ups everywhere you went or whatever. You had to earn your one-ups. Now you could basically trip into a star. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, they're moons now. Thank you. Uh, Wonder seeds. Thank you. Wonder seeds. Shine sprites. What are they? No, I guess they are just stars in Galaxy. Uh... Don't they have like another version of the star that's in the galaxy? Isn't there like There's a green stars? Star? There's a green star. Oh, you're right. There's green star. Isn't there a, a silver star? Uh, or is those are those silver stars are like the five collectible ones that you need for uh, to get. They're like red coins. Oh, silver stars are like red coins. Gross. Where you know you collect five of them and then it creates a star, so you're good. Yuck. Or like an extra pathway or something like that. So, but. The star economy is in shambles. This wow, the star economy. It didn't have to be this way. You never believe this, Sleepy Joe. Sleeping on the stars. Sleeping on the stars. Back when I was president. They're just giving the, the stars, stars away. Oh, I found that. The cool. stars were worth way more. <laughs> now they're down to a penny. Down to a penny. Mm -hmm. I hit them at two hundred dollars a star. Now I can unzip my pants. Oh, there's a star. Jeez. I look in the toilet. Star. There's a star. The <laughs> McDonald's family value meal. <laughs> star. They're just giving, giving him away. They're just giving. I keep them all stored in the same spot where I keep my classified documents in my bathroom downstairs. <laughs> in my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Under page seventy six is a star, and a little map I drew myself that takes you to another star. <laughs> oh boy! It almost sounds like Charlie, like moist critical Charlie. Oh. Kinda, yeah, I can see that. Jesus you gotta, you Christ, gotta have, superstar you, himself. You gotta, you gotta have a little bit more dude, bro, in your voice. Yeah, but yeah, no, I, I could see, I could see Moist Critical in that. <laughs> Although, ouch, <laughs> that's kind of a dick on him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, his whole thing was, you know, for obviously for the longest time, uh, you know, he didn't, he didn't have a cam. It was just his voice for the longest time, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And then, you know, before he knew it, uh, he he was got encouraged to uh, put a cam on, and now that's all he does now because people are like, "Oh my God, he's hot! <laughs> he's ripped!" And he's got those luscious long black locks now. It's true, very true. It's Which a big we all know, chicks did dig the locks. They do. They do. They really do. I can't. 
go this way. Another little maze. They like their mazes. They love their mazes. It's amazing, honestly. It's amazing. It's <laughs> a fucking Adam Sandler joke. <laughs> yeah, that did it for you, huh? Yeah, it did. Yeah, yeah. I creamed a little bit, actually. <laughs> did so. you? Yeah, I did. Wow. I have to go change my pants you, after this episode. You need so. to clean that up. Well, I'm, I'll clean it up after the episode. After the episode? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get a little stench going on in here, and then we'll... Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll clean it up after that. Man, I'm gonna have, gonna make this episode go as long as possible. <laughs> hey, it's not you, man. It's, <laughs> yeah, well, I it's guess, not you. I guess so. I mean, I guess it won't bug you. You're used to it. Hey, it's fine with me. Hey, well, wait. <laughs> hey, well, you know, when in Rome, hey, I, I cream on myself all the time, so you know. <laughs> it's true. Do as the French do. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, the invisible block. That's 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 the, that's the ticket. Is it? That's the ticket. Oh, right, uh, this, like that. This is a great camera. This is a great I camera. I can't see anything. This is a great camera. Can you can you do something about this? Oh, there we go. Boop, 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 uh, boop, servant, boop, can you fix this? Wow, we can just walk through walls now. Yeah, can. Look at that. that. Now he's trapped forever. I know. He's trapped in ice. I regret this decision. <laughs> Nah, it's okay. He's he's always he's always got his friggin' Swiss Swiss Army knife in his pocket. He does. Little did you know, he's always got a shiv ready to go. <laughs> I'm always ready to cut the bitch. Oh, is that it? We gotta get a hundred coins. Well, yeah, I mean, but that's uh, it. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, sure. It just went quick. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, blinked and we're already you got a full thing. Yeah, it's weird considering how late in the game we are. Yeah. But they do get a lot harder later on. So true. That is true. Get a nice little breather. Oh, boy. Yes. Boing! Boop. Hmm. I will be sad when Mario is over. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, well, I know you really love this game. It's a really good game. What? What is, is it just nostalgia, or is it... It's probably nostalgia. Yeah. Yeah, if I had to, like... Give it a guess. Give it a guess. Give it a gander. It's yeah. also like it generally is kind of fun to play. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's, Mario it's Mario. Like, I mean, it doesn't look unless good. it's Mario uh, typing or freaking Hotel Mario or whatever. Like, I mean, generally Mario is fun. Yeah, it does not cause blindness when you play it. So, just like how nice and free flo uh, flowing it is. Like everything moves like nice and snappy. Nice and snappy. Nice and snappy, which is amazing considering it was their first attempt. True. There's like little things that they do in this game that you just wouldn't think that they would think to do, but they just they just knew it. They just got it done. Just get it. Just got in there. Just get it done. This was '96, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The '64 was '96 as well. Come out same year. In America, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this was a launch game. Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't have a '64 at launch. I didn't okay. have a night launch either. So, take that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I got my 64 until Ocarina came out. When oh, was Ocarina? 1998. 98, okay. Yeah, it was a couple of years. Because I... When was Donkey Kong? Maybe I didn't get it when Ocarina came out. Because I distinctly remember getting Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong would have been later. That would have probably been 99. Yeah, okay. Probably 2000 because Donkey Kong 64 was one of the few games that needed you needed to update your RAM. Yeah, the expansion pack. Yep. So. Yeah, I, I remember getting that at launch. Maybe I got my 64 later, and I thought. Yeah, it was. Uh, well, I got my. I still got my original. Uh, the first one I got because the only time I ever played 64 was when I went to uh, my. Uh, friend's place because he had it and he played Zelda so I got to play Zelda through him mm. so I didn't get I think it was probably around 99 I want to say whenever the fantastic colors started coming out oh the translucent ones yeah yeah, yeah. Um, <coughs> that's when I got my uh, 64 because sure. I ended up getting the uh, uh, red one I always thought they were cool yeah I never had one growing up uh, watermelon sorry I Somebody, I don't want somebody to correct me. Be somebody like, um, just shit themselves. Um, they're fruit colored. They're not just blank. With exception red. to the jungle green one. Yeah. <laughs> Although they could have 
They could have just called that one like Green Apple. Yeah, or something like that. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't, but I don't know why they did that. Because there's also a strawberry one. Nice. That was crazy. Nice. I've never seen that. Ooh. <laughs> like, it was really it, cold. It just melted it down. That was awesome. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> that yeah, it is really cool, Mario. <laughs> Very cool, Mario. Very cool. <laughs> Frozen even. God, just punch him. But yeah, I have. I still have my watermelon one. It still works great. With yeah, the original I, controller and everything. Yeah, I still have the gray one. So, um, but yeah, I think I ended up getting. Well, I ended up getting Ocarina of Time. I had, I got Donkey Kong sixty four with it. I think that was one of the games I got with it. Was Donkey Kong sixty four? Mm. Not like with it, but like, I, you know, when I got the system, that was one of the games I picked out. Sure. Um. Or no, it was definitely later because I remember at some point I did get Donkey Kong sixty four. Got home, went to put it in or whatever, and I was like, I looked at my dad and I was like, Dad, it won't play. It won't play. It won't play. It keeps bringing up the arrow message. And then, uh, um, and I was 25 when I was talking, still talking like that. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> uh, uh, and so I needed that little expansion thing. Then I didn't, you know, obviously I was a dumb kid, so I didn't know. What the hell that was, or you anything didn't know like what that. Memory was. Yeah, yeah, or whatever. So, um, we eventually got it figured out, so I could actually play that game. But, sure. Uh, but it was that. I think the main games that I had was Mario Party Two. It was Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Donkey Kong sixty four, Pokemon Stadium one and two, and. I think those are the main ones. Okay. I think that was pretty much my library as a kid for 64. I didn't play uh, Mario Party until the GameCube. Really? Yeah, I didn't grow up with wow. the 64 ones. Okay. I, I got those. I think I got them a little bit after like five had come out. Because um, okay. I, I went to like a secondhand shop and found them there. I was like, oh my God, there's more of them. Huh. Um, yeah, I, I never played them until, okay. until later on. I think I had three too, but then I don't know, something happened and I ended up not having three so i have more memories of two than three even though i thought three was better than two yeah so. i do have a heartbreaking story about majora's mask though yeah i remember being really excited about it because i was a big fan of uh um ocarina obviously and, right um when majora came out i went to the mall with my parents um i went to a game store and we bought it there um and i think we were also going to like the theater or something like that um and I had it in my hand. I had it in a bag. And at some point, I, like, sat it down without even thinking. And uh, we went into the theater, and we went back out. And I was like, oh, I don't have the bag anymore. And we went out there, and it was gone. And somebody had, like, stolen it. Oh. I was, I was really sad. I was, oh. I was bummed out for the rest of the trip. I mean, understandable. That sucks. Yeah, that, that hurt. Oh. How dare. You know what? If you're listening out there, thief from 19 or, no, 2000 or whatever, that stole little little baby Travis's copy of Majora's Mask. I hope you rot in hell. Give it back. <laughs> that was the gold one too, the translucent cover. Oh, I, I eventually man. got it later on in life. Well, but, of course. But uh, yeah, still though, I mean that's, that still stung. Yeah, no, that's a that's a that's a. Honestly, it's traumatic for a kid. It's like yeah. oh, that was I won. That was mine. The show yeah. was expensive too. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Sixty four <laughs> games. I mean, like. Honestly, that's kind of part of why the kind of the debate of people complaining about like, oh god, these video game prices are so expensive. It's like there's some 64 games that are like 80 bucks. Yeah, like Donkey Kong wasn't cheap. Yeah, no, that was. But it did come with the expansion thing, so that. I mean, it, yeah, it did, but still, I mean, it was pricey. It's still pricey though. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not like the whole idea of like, oh my god, there's 70 dollar games now. It's like, well, sadly, if you actually go back. And look at old ads from back in the day. Some of them were anywhere from seventy to hundred bucks. Just yeah. depends. It was like one time I remember um, I saw like a post on because some store had posted a a copy of Final Fantasy three, and they're like, "Oh my god, it's fifty dollars!" Like, "Oh my god, this came came out in like the the early nineties. Like, why why is it so much money?" And then <laughs> looking at like an ad for it, the listing price for a complete box copy, brand new, was like a hundred bucks or like ninety dollars. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Games used to be expensive. Yeah. 
they, they did. Wasn't Earthbound like $120 or something yeah, like that? Yeah. I mean, it came with the strategy guy, it too. It came with but big box. Yeah. Yeah, it was pricey. Yeah, so I mean. They wonder why it didn't do well. True. Um, yeah, that one was that was a pretty rare one. Um, but, you know, we were, us Americans, we were too stupid to understand Earthbound, so we had to have a guide with it, so. Yeah, what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Which, I mean, in hindsight, it's like, you know what, they probably made the right move. Yeah, they probably did. Because there's no, there's no way. Honestly, the only thing that would have helped them, because, you know, obviously back in the day, they had that Nintendo hotline stuff. Oh, yeah. You know, you could call and. That shit sucked. Yeah. <laughs> You get you get on that hotline and it's some oh fucking name, this nice. guys. some asshole that is talking like um you gotta go um because it's paid by like right minute. so like they're trying to drag it out as long as possible well yeah of course so they can get your fucking money and I was like oh god damn it yeah times are rough. The rough. But I mean, going back to some of those old RPGs, man, they don't do any help. <laughs> they don't give you any help at all. No. Either you take notes or you're just fucked. Right, exactly. Yeah, I remember playing, um, it was like one of the Final Fantasies, like growing up, and my older brother was like, yeah, you're not going to finish this game. And I was determined to do it. <laughs> and uh, I forget which one it was, um, but I remember going back and playing it and just trying to figure out where to go and there was no like map or anything that I could use. It's literally just, you had to talk to the one NPC that's like, Hey, there's like a thing that is by the river that maybe you need to go do this. And I just didn't not understand that at the time. So right. I just never, never beat it or got very far into it when I was younger. I'm trying to think there was, well, there's two games, really two games from my childhood that haunt me that I, I was never able to beat. And now even, even today I still can't beat them, but, um, uh, because they're just so hard, and even the worst part about it was is for for both because the one of them I got the guide for it when I was a kid and tried to use it and it was still no help. Um, and the other one I ended up getting later on in life when I saw the guide itself. It was cool to have, but then I looked inside and I was like, wow, this wouldn't have helped me either as a kid. <laughs> um, but specifically Digimon World 2 and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Oh, those yeah. Are, those are the two. Yeah, Forbidden Memories, the guide is almost useless in that. Because all, all the guide did was tell you the car, the types of cards that each person had, but it wouldn't tell you on like a definitive way to beat it. Ultimately, there's really only one way to beat that game, unfortunately, and that's... It's luck. It's luck. Yeah, it's a lot of luck. Because um, that game's got, like, really heavy RNG. Yeah, Jesus. And you have to... The only way to get through the six uh, match gauntlet at the end of the game is to make sure that your deck... You can pump out a um, freaking Twin-Handed Thunder Dragon... Uh, with specifically two equip cards to it, and if you didn't, you're screwed. Yeah. Um, other than that, uh, <laughs> this game was stupid hard. Um, and then Digimon World Two is just super long. Like it's unbelievable. It's like a 75 hour game. That's how I felt about Dragon Quest Seven. Yeah. That one I never finished because it's like a hundred plus hours minimum. Ugh. Brutal. It was a brutal game. Yeah. And when you think it's like close to being over, like the game just is like, nope, we are still got more. It's like, oh, guess what? Because like I got to, at one point later on in life, uh, I got to um, what I felt was like the end game. And I was like, oh, wow, I'm finally going to get there or whatever. And then lo and behold, they're like, oh, by the way, there's a second island. I'm like, What? <laughs> this was like 50 hours in at this point. I'm yeah. like, oh my god. And of I'm course, they're even more brutal at this point. And I'm just like, I don't know if I have the patience for this. Yeah. Because the Digimon World 2 is a dungeon crawler. Yeah. So, um, with like, and in the dungeon, there's like traps and mines and all that kind of garbage too that hurts your vehicle. And so, it's not only the Digimon you have to worry about, Fuck. but it's also your vehicle. Because if you stall out there, then bullshit ensues and could get a game over and it's like ugh sucks 
Yeah, Dragon Quest Seven does that same thing, where uh, you get like halfway through and you fight what the game tells you is the final boss. Like this is it, and then it does like a fake out at some uh. point when you finish it, and there's like, oh, some something's not right. Like the problem's not solved. Why is that? And it turns into like another like 30, 40 hour oh. like epic. Jeez. Yeah, that game's nuts. Pretty crazy though, considering like old games like that, and it's like, man, they just have hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of content. You don't expect it. Yeah, yeah usually they're really short. They're just really hard. Yep. Um, I feel like I've been everywhere for coins except for this igloo. I'm just worried I'm gonna get trapped in the igloo and then not have enough oh, you coins. Won't. Hey, guess what? You got 64, though. I ain't see. I, that's true. Yeah, nice. I, I do got 64, though. You got that Mario 64. Nice. Oh, you won't get trapped. You can leave. Oh, yeah. I guess. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I think this was your last... Because there's a lot of coins in here, so... Uh, well, the coins over there are, are fake out. You can't get those. Those are? Oh, no, you can't. I'm sorry. The invisible cap exists. Yeah, I was That's about right. to say. I was like, to say those are in ice. Yeah, what the hell? You trying to say the fake out or fucking... You try to fool me? You try to fool me? You try to fool this guy? I don't know. God. Uh. God. Damn. Where do we get these coins? Jeez. I'm, I'm like, trying. It's God. Like, they keep throwing me into mazes. Well... Ain't that amazing? It is amazing. This is an amazing game. Am I right? <laughs> 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 uh, see, that's that's, that's going to be the title of this episode. <laughs> it's an amazing game. <laughs> <laughs> Emphasis on a maze. <laughs> classic. Cla it is it's classic. classic. Classic jape. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gaff. <laughs> I forgot the bomb's in here. Why is he in here? Uh, I think you can activate the cannon if you talk to him in here. Oh. Well, we don't want to do All right, that. He's just hanging out. Who knows? I have a timeshare. <laughs> he's just got a timeshare here. It's great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. We did it. Hey. <laughs> Guess what? Star 100. Love to see 100. it. 100. We did it. Woo! 20 more to go. Wow, that's it, too. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Fuck out of here. Almost done. We're almost done. 20 almost more. Done. 20 more. 20 more. So, where are we going now? We're going uh, all the way to the top? Yeah, we're going all tippy top. We only go up? We only go up. That's right. We only go, we right. don't gotta go down anymore. Hey, I I only go up anyway. You so only go up. I wonder. I don't know if this works because what? I think the Japanese version doesn't allow you to do this. You trying to do your freaking blow jobs over here? Blow long jobs. I think the Japanese the they patched it out in the All Stars version. I don't think this is gonna work. That's from what I remember. You, you can't do it. Oh yeah, you just can't do it fast enough. There's like a buffer on it now. Yeah. Bomber. If I I remember when people when this game came out, people were trying to deal with this, and I remember seeing stories about the the BLJs just not working. So they're assholes, and they hate fun. Which is weird because you can still do a lot of the other gimmicks, like you can do like the bunny through the door and all that. Yeah, that is interesting. Wonder why they did that. Huh? Maybe because it's the most infamous one, and they're like, yeah, don't cheat the system. Yeah, maybe. you can skip large swaths of the game if you do that. Boop, boop. Wow. Easy. You just bully a toad and yeah. you get a star. Give me your fucking money. But now we got 101. We don't have 100. Uh, well, we're, we're gonna... not 100 now, as the kids say. I keep it a 101. Oh, all right. Uh, let's Good do, for you. We'll do the hard one first, I guess. Well, maybe we should save for next time. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Jeez. I, I, I just... I say anything about like, hey, maybe we save it for next time. Mario turns into a freaking baby, freaking whining all the time and stuff. God, Goo Goo Gaga, give me the new episode. God, fine. All right, well, Mario, well, Mario whines and complains. Uh, until next time, everyone. See ya.